Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so this is the last video in my collection series before I do my inventory video which will be a sit down and chat video. Um, these drawers are like skincare, body care, I'm also, I've got a little bit of hair care in here. Things that you won't see are like face and body cleansers and scrubs uh, that's all kept inside um, shampoo and conditioner I keep them inside as well and some other skincare that I'm currently using so basically um, I just want to go through these drawers and see if there's anything I want to get rid of also uh, this is happening again where I have like tubs of more products that need to sort of be organized into these drawers. Once upon a time, I had another one of these big Alex drawers. So these are the standing drawers um, in my bedroom. And that's actually where I kept all of my skincare, body care, hair care. And I decided that I no longer wanted to have that in my bedroom. So I moved it out here. And uh, now I have three tall Alex drawers in here and it's just a bit excessive. I might uh, see if I can get rid of one. So my goal is to pretty much fit everything in the drawers here. Also something that is probably gonna be a little bit different to my makeup collection videos is that uh, a lot of this stuff that's in these drawers I haven't actually used before. So I don't have thoughts on them. So we're not gonna be doing, or I'm not gonna be doing mini reviews there will be some things I've tried and I might talk about them briefly, but otherwise this is mostly just going to be like a go through it, maybe declutter, mostly organize. Okay, I'm going to stop waffling. Let's get into it. This is hands, eyes, usually I have things like foot creams as well, but it looks like I don't have any. I do have some, they're just not in this drawer. So let's just start, shall we? Let's make space and start. Uh, Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Firm. This is sort of like multi-purpose lip and eye cream. Um, I have tried it. I don't think I'm really going to use it, so I think I'll get rid of that. Uh, caffeine Energizing Eye Patches from Good Molecules. I like them. I have the Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream from Drunk Elephant. I've tried it. I don't remember what I think about it. Uh, is this pronounced Pyong, Pyongkang Yule? Somebody, phonic spelling, please. That would be or phonic pronunciation. Um, it's an eye cream. This is quite new. I'm going to give that a go. To be honest, eye creams and myself, I can't say that I've really used any that blew me away except one that I use when I've got really dark uh, like dark eye bags and puffiness doesn't happen too often I do have one somewhere but maybe it's not here it might be inside anyway it's the um, Genifique eyes from oh god brain come on long calm it's from Longcom. Uh, this is the Innisfree Jeju Lava Seawater Eye Serum. That's also fairly new. Hold on to that. Um, these are going to be hand creams. So I've got one from Grown Alchemist. Uh, this is the Monami More Hand Cream. Uh, Body Shop Coconut. Lanolips Coconutter. They can stay. Hand creams. I like them. I eventually go through them. Uh, Chris Morning Air from Bath and Body Works. The uh, Tony Moly Banana Hand Cream. I also have the Asano Rose Hip Hand Cream. Let's try and keep them all in here, shall we? This one is from Paul and Joe. That is also a hand cream. Can I make this work? That is the question. This one is from Glass House. It's Casablanca. I've got one from. Uh, Davines, which I still haven't cracked into. Thank you, Madeline. So sorry. It takes me a long time to get around to using these things. Uh, and Glass House at Rio de Janeiro. So they can all stay. Hand creams I keep. They're great if someone's like, I need a hand cream. Well, I've got 60. So, you know, whatever you need. Oh, I've got another one back here. 
This is from Etude House. It is super cute. It's in the little, let me show you, let me show you. Because this is adorbs. Oh, stop it, you cutie. Cutie muffin. All right, so there we go. That can stay. These are the Maison Snail Repair uh, Gold Eye Patches. They can stay as well. I'm wondering. <laughs> no. Yes, satisfying. And these are the Shoal Velvet Smooth Wet and Dry uh, exfoliating things off their electronic like exfoliating tool. I love them. I need to uh, use that because my feet are getting dry now that it's warming up and I'm wearing more open toed shoes. Um, now I'm pulling stuff out of my tub up here, which is out of control and cool. I've got more eye patches from Secret P. Um, what have I got? I need to do this with purpose, otherwise shit's going to get messy. I have a foot peeling mask from Double and Zero. Um, BioEffect EGF eye masks. They are really, oh, this is going to annoy me. They're really nice. Um, they're bougie as hell, super expensive. Uh, but anyway, there we go. Um, lip masks. I'm actually going to... I'm going to declutter these because I used one not too long ago and it kind of burny tingled and I didn't enjoy it. So I think I have a few of them. Um, if I come across them, wait, let's just, you know what? Let's really make a bloody mess and uh, see what we've got. No, that one's a different brand, which I will try because, you know, I like to try new things and I'm curious. Um, okay, these are all eye and lip patches. So I've got a bunch from Skin Iceland here. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Um, we've got the lip patch. That's from Sue. Oh my God, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? <gasps> oh, these are, you know what? I'm going to get rid of them. They are eye patches that you hydrate yourself with the whole bunch that I've got going on there. I don't need to keep them. Uh, let's put this there. These are eye and cheek patches from Secret Key. I have eye patches from Shantakai. I've got the Milk Makeup uh, Cooling Water eye patches. And I have Garnier, Tarte, Star Skin, and South Maine, they were gifted, I know they were. Because we don't have that brand here in Australia. Uh, I've also got Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. I like to use this on my feet. I get um, dishydrotic eczema on my feet. I used to also get it on my hands. It's like, it's the worst. I know that some people who watch me also suffer with it. And it's like, you actually suffer. It is horrible um, and I like to use this when I'm having a really bad flare-up because it it seems to help a bit um, I've got basically a full tube there I'm not going to keep all three of these because they last a long time so I'll get rid of those two uh, and I've got a little bit more here I have the Dr. Pickles tattoo balm uh, I've had this for a really long time, so I think I might get rid of that. I don't have plans to get a tattoo this year, at least. If I if I need more, I can I can buy it. Mini hand cream from Loxitan, and this is the Dermalogica Biolumin C Eye Serum. That one can stay as well. This is annoying me because it's messy, and I don't like it. So let's pop these in here. Let's pop that there. Let's put this here. Oh my god, send help. Oh geez. <gasps> and okay, I think we're done for the eye, lip, feet. They all fit in here. No, I can see something else. Okay, I also have this giant box of heated eye masks. I don't know where I'm gonna fit these. I think I might put them with my sheet masks and see if I can work that out. Oh Lord, send help. Okay, six things decluttered out of that drawer. Speaking of sheet masks, we may as well get this out of the way. Oh, my camera is almost 
touching the roof at the moment. Uh, hello, like I am filming so awkwardly top down to get a view of this drawer. Oh, I, I know exactly why I refuse to ever film one of these videos. So this will probably be the first and the last that I do of this type of video. Um, so this is my box of sheet masks and like normal standard face masks like in jars. They're not all going to fit in this drawer, which means I've got some serious decluttering to do. Oh, I did so well with sheet masks at the start of the year and then totally fell off the wagon. Um, anyway, let's look, let's just get into it. Okay, these eye masks, I really would like to try them, so I'm going to stick them in there. I've got this gigantic one from Glam Glow, which I got recently in uh, the Mecca, like, mystery box. So, you know, don't think I'd ever actually want to buy that. Um, sheet masks. Okay, I've got Sue Aloe. I, I really shouldn't go through all of these individually. I have so many... This video will be six years long. I know you guys don't mind the long videos, but I do mind how long they take to film and edit. So I'm just going to, I'm going to um, sift through these. I'm going to find any that I feel would not be suitable for my skin. And then I will show you if there's any that I choose to declutter. I don't want to. I like sheet masks, I just don't bloody use them enough. Oh, that's a foot product. It's a foot peeling mask, I will hold on to that one. This is like a migraine cool, it's like a, a sticky sheet that sticks to your face and it's great when you have migraines. Um, I might just take that inside and put it in my bedside table. I didn't realize I had that. Okay, that is the end of the sheet masks. I do have some laugh line patches and another like creepy mustache mask. Um, I might put them in my eye, hand, foot drawer just because this is fucked. Okay, I have these Dr. Jart masks. I really want to try them, but I'm not going to be able to fit them in here, am I? Oh my god. Okay, am I going to make a second mask drawer? Is this happening? Oh my god, I think this is happening because I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of them. I want to try them. I'm just going to set them aside for now and I'll work it out in a second. Um, I've got two fourth ray beauty masks, avocado and uh, soak it up. Um... You know what? I really just don't use masks. Like, I don't. So, they can go. Um, I have the Half Moon Eyes uh, Pink Fruity Wash Off Mask. What are they? I don't know. Look, I don't care. I'm not going to use them. I also have the uh, Trilogy Overnight Mask. I'm going to hang on to this one. Um, I have the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel that should really be in my samples, but I think I'm just going to get rid of it. And I've got a raspberry age-defying yogurt massage mask. I also decluttered one of them. Uh, I need to... wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's finish this. These are... so they're like compressed sheet masks. You rehydrate them with whatever you want. I typically like to use... Um, like hydrating toners or serums that I have an excess of and I want to use up. So I am going to hold on to them because they're handy to have. Um, can that fit in there? No, that's just a disaster. Look, let's go through the things that I opted to get rid of. 
So other than the things you just saw, I do have another one of those Raspberry Age Defying Yogurt, yogurt Massage Masks from La Ciel. Uh, I have the Skin Republic Retinol Hydrogel Mask. I, I like retinol, but um, it's like, it's, it's down here on the ingredient list. And I'm like, it... Am I just wasting my time? Yes. Uh, and I've got the Tony Moly Red Cheeks Girls, Red Cheeks Girls patch. Good. Okay, I got rid of eight things from there. One of them was a sample size. As luck would have it, I do have a spare drawer here. So I will just pop those mask items in here. But I really need to, like, I need to do something with masks I've got to I've got to use them because I like them I like the idea of it I just never fucking use them this drawer contains toners acids spot treatment things I do have a few others that were floating in different drawers it's enough to put in here and actually manage hyaluronic acid 100% from Eliza Vecca I do like that. Um, I have two bottles of uh, Witch Hazel here. I really don't feel like I'm going to need this anytime soon. I have had them both open for a while, so I think I'll just get rid of them. Uh, Ol Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. That can stay. I do want to hold on to my acids because um i don't really have that many face scrubs left which i'm totally fine with i would prefer to use acids um i've got the glyco skin brilliance and i've got the paula's choice paula's choice um two percent bha gel um i'm not sure that i would really need a bha um, but I'm going to hold on to it anyway. I know my skin responds really well to salicylic acid. BHA is better if you have breakouts. AHA is, uh, good for anti-aging. Uh, so that's why, like, I don't really deal with breakouts at the moment, which is so great. Love that. Um, but I'll just hold on to it for now. I've got some stuff at the back. I just want to pull forward, um... Uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to also, uh, I'm just going to show you one of these. These are from Nextcare. They are the um, acne patches. I'm just going to hold on to these. Um, they've got a really long expiration date. I can keep them for at least another two years. Um, so I'm just going to hold on to those. Um, I also have one. I've got like got five packs of them uh it goes back to my acne days i've also got the ac solutions from g9 skin i have the first do uh patches i've got sos repair sicker patches from tosawong um i have the qsis needle patches i have the um Vice Reversa needle patches, and I've got a whole bunch more. I've got Neogen, I've got the Corsa RX, I've got Curito. They're good because, like I said, they have long expiration dates, so I'm not bothered to keep them sticking around uh, just for a while in case something goes pear-shaped with my skin. Um, I have heaps of um, oil control sheets I might just oh, look what am I doing I'm gonna get rid of the essence ones uh, actually to be fair the packaging on this is pretty cool no I'll hold on to the essence ones I'm gonna get rid of these ones hello kitty and I think I'll just keep one packet of uh, these ones here and I'll get rid of how many seven seven patches I don't really have oily skin anymore so seven patches seven packets brain oh i've got makeup remover in here as well that doesn't work now let's take that out okay um ren this is the ready steady glow aha lotion i'm gonna hold on to that 
I have Pixie Glow Tonic. I love that stuff. I'm keeping that. Uh, I have the Glyco Daily Resurfacing Pads. They can stay as well. Um, what's going to stand up? That's, yes, let's get anything that's going to stand up and make it stand up. That won't close, will it? No, you jerk. Um, okay, let's, let's, all right, good, let's see. Um, when did this expire? It's definitely expired. Yep. Dr. Dennis Gross All Over Blemish Solution. It's great stuff, but it's expired. Can go. Um, I have the Paula's Choice Hydrolyte uh, Refreshing Toner. I've had this kicking around for a long time. I think I will get rid of that. Uh, Dear Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner. That's really nice. I'll hold on to that one. Um, let's do more acids. Drunk Elephant TLC, Frambois, Framboos, what? I don't know. Glycolic Night Serum. That's new. It can stay. Get back there. Thank you all. Uh, Paula's Choice Resist Daily Pore Refining Treatment 2% BHA. That can stay as well. I have the Advanced Pore Refining Treatment, which is a 4%. I will hold on to that one as well. Um, and I have the 9%. That can stay as well. But if I don't get any use out of them um, next year, they'll probably have to go. You're just not going to stay up, are you? Just don't even, don't even bother. Don't try. Don't try to keep things neat and well organized. Just go there. Okay, this is from Dermalogica. It's an age bright spot fader. It's doing some weird leaky thing. Can you see that? That's gross. I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah. Uh, fourth ray, waterfall, waterfall gentle tonic. Um, what do you do? You hydrate? Mm, do I want this? I kind of... The thing about fourth ray is... Sometimes I'm intrigued by the simple things that they do, like hydrating toners. Um, but they don't have the ingredients on it, so fuck it. I'm just going to get rid of it. Sorry, I don't have time for you. Um, Age Bright Clearing Serum from Dermalogica. I've used, like, half of that. I think I will... Oh, yeah. We're still good until February 2021. Um, I might take that inside and see if I... If I enjoy it. Um, this is a body product. It is a hand chemistry retin oil. I have had this kicking around for a while, but again, I think I might take it inside and just use it and see how it goes for me. Uh, that one's good. Let's put these back in. We've got some room. And let's do these. Uh, niacinamide brightening toner from Good Molecules. That can stay. I have the retinol 5% Sorry, 0.5% in squalane from The Ordinary. That's new. I've got another Pixie Glow Tonic that can stay. And I have the Glyco Age Repair Retinol Booster. That one's brand spanking new. And that can stay. That drawer is done and looking a lot better. 14 items done. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> two problems here. This is my serum and moisturizer drawer. Mm, serums are the worst. They take so long to use up. Um, moisturizers, the same. I mean, it's great when you find one that you love uh, and it takes a long time to use it up, but mm, problem. And also, I feel like it's the, like, it's one of those products that I get the most in PR and it's like... It's not, it's not helpful. Also, I just found a tub of fucking masks. We'll address this in a minute. Okay, so back to serums, moisturizers. I think I also have facial oils in here, but I don't think I have that many facial oils. I'm pretty sure I've used most of them up. I also have this box of shit. So let's do something. Let's do a thing. Thing. Um, okay, BioEffect EGF 2A Daily Treatment. Um, so this is like a two-step treatment. Oh, God. I want to use it, but also 
I just don't know. Like, oh, when am I going to find the time to use this shit? Um, what have I got? I've got the Dear Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum. I know I like that. And I have the Snail Bee High Content Steam Cream. I'm going to get rid of that moisturizer. Uh, this I really enjoy. This is the Ren uh, Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. That can stay. I've got the Centella Blemish Cream from Course RX. I'll get rid of that. I have the Dear Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. Now, this is one of those masks that you put on and you wash off the next day. So I actually consider it a moisturizer. Um, I have all of these Fourth Ray face milks. I saw mum uh, must have claimed one of these and she's been using it. So I might see if she enjoys them and wants to use more. Um, I have this one that the problem is I've swatched all of these so they've all touched my grubby ass skin I'm wondering if I should pan them on my body that is a good idea because I would probably get two to three body applications out of them that is a good plan I'm gonna do that because the body moisturizer that I have in my bedroom at the moment is almost finished so now is the time to tackle this I'm gonna put them in a separate tub take them inside I have a whole bunch of them and I'm gonna do it with all of them that's not one there we go that's a big one I think that's all of them okay good there's oh wait there's a face oil oh yes Okay, oil. This is a strawberry seed oil. I've actually used a strawberry seed oil from another brand recently. I finished it um, this year, 2020, and I really liked it. So I'm just going to hold on to that. Like face oil is face oil to me. Um, let's move these out of the way. I actually, okay, this is going to annoy me. I want to keep like serums here face oils here moisturizers here yes i do enjoy organized shit um okay let's continue this is the uh yuja niacin brightening sleeping mask again this is one that you put on at night and you wash off in the morning so call it a mask call it what you want it's a fucking moisturizer i have the niacid here uh, this is just like a face serum. I'll hold on to that. Uh, let's put it there. Let's move these out of the way. What have I got? This is the uh, Dear Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop. Um, is it going to be classified as an oil or a serum? That is the question. So let's give it a go. Oh, shit. That's nice. Okay, that's like, oh, what the, oh my God. It feels like a super, super thin oil, but also hydrating. Oh my God, you stay. Also, if I need, do I, have I almost finished my oil inside? I think I have. Okay, cool. Talking to myself. This is a Dear Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. It's a vitamin C serum um i look sometimes i struggle with vitamin c serums they they can really upset my skin but everything i've used from dear claire's has been quite gentle and nice so if there's any brand that i trust with vitamin c's it's them uh and i would like to try that out i have the iop essential facial oil that can stay i have the hyaluronic acid water essence from is tree i think it is um let's get some of these out of the way uh what is this this is the this is old as the hills pure breasts a pure pure best uh galactomyces serum i'm gonna get rid of that i have the skin hydrating booster from dermalogica that can stay i have a multi-molecular hyaluronic complex from niod i have the fourth ray radiate vitamin c elixir this is kind of like dual phase oil and serum i'm gonna hold on to that i have the hyaluronic acid serum from good molecules this is really nice i really enjoy that you just stay in focus mate just 
work with me here? Um, Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. I'll hold on to that. I've got the Watermelon Sleeping Glow Mask from Glow Recipe. That can also stay. Um, this is the Copper Peptide Serum from Clear Skincare. I'll hold on to that. I really like Copper Peptide Serums. Uh, Intensive Peptide Facelift Serum. This is from Osmetico. I do remember enjoying this. Um, but looking at my serum, what have I got? I've got like hyaluronic acid, vitamin C. That's fine. That's fine. Look, I might hold on to that for now. Hyaluronic acid is one that I'm happy to pair with different serums. Um, but I don't want to have 60, like thousand mixture serums hanging around um these are also both hyaluronic acids which look i can go through three to four in a year so i'm not worried about them also they're sealed i've got the two percent plus b5 from the ordinary and this one is from uh the plant base it's the waterfall moist balance Hyalur balanced hyaluronic acid serum um what have i got this is a drunk elephant sea firm a day serum this is too rough for me i'm gonna see if mum would like to try that uh she freaking loves vitamin c serums this is a rapid age spot correcting serum from murad uh this will be a vitamin c based serum as well i am assuming uh oh niacinamide okay is there any vitamin c in it I'm not going to read the ingredients. I'll be here all day. Um, I'll hold on to that. It's sealed. I'm really enjoying Murad uh, skincare. I've got a couple of samples going in my holiday advent thing and I'm really enjoying them. This one is the hydrodynamic quenching essence from Murad as well. I'll hold on to that. Okay, let's pull some of these for... Oh! Oh man, this is like... Oh, cult! amazing skincare product it's sk2 patera essence set i'm gonna hold on to that will you stand up no why you do this to me okay you go that way um longcom advanced genifique i have one of these that i'm trying to work through yes guys i know it has alcohol in the ingredients it is what it is go blame longcom i already know um i'm gonna get rid of that one it's sealed this is from Ultraceuticals. It's a C10 Plus Firming Serum. I've had this for a really long time and I just don't... I mean, it's sealed. I don't think I've used it, but I don't know if it would still be okay. I think I'll just get rid of that. It's it's fine. Uh, Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. That one can stay. I have the Red Serum from Dr. Color Effect. Um... What is this supposed to do? Revitalize the skin. No, that's fine. I'll get rid of that. Oh, this stuff. Man, if you have really dry skin, this might be a savior for you. I have one of these on the go at the moment. It is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. That has been a little bit of a lifesaver for me recently. Uh, this is the By Wish Trend uh, Polyphenols in Propolis, 15% ample. I think I would like to try that. So I will just hold on to it for now. Clinique Moisture Surge. I I like that. It's nice. This is a steam cream uh, from, I think it is just the brand steam cream. Anyway, it's it's got Beauty and the Beast on it. Like, this is exactly why I bought it. Also, steam cream is it's nice. So there's that. Uh, Dear Claire's, this is the Rich Moist Soothing Cream. I have used one of these. I know I like it, so I think I will hold on to that. It's not going to close. I'm so disappointed. This is the Ionic uh, Propolis Vitamin Sleeping Mask. I think I would like to try that, so I will hold on to it for now. Will that also... No. Good. Fantastic. Will you? Yeah. All right. All right. We're getting there. Um, this is a vitamin tree water gel. It's from, I'm from, um, EAE, I don't know if I want to keep this. What's, what's, what's it do? It's a moisturizing cream. Look, I'll just hold on to it for now. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Declare's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. Uh, that's 
like an after sun cream. Actually, I'm going to put that with my SPFs because I like specific stuff for that time of when I need after sun shit. Uh, Dermalogica Phyto Nature Firming Serum. That can stay. It's not going to close properly. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I keep this in the box because the box is just magical. I have tried it. No, I haven't tried this one. I've tried the mini, which I have here. I'm actually going to take this inside and try and finish it. And uh, I'm going to keep this one in the box. When I had super dry skin, I wasn't like really blown away by this but uh my skin's balanced out a little bit so I might I might find that that's better for me uh now I think I might actually put face SPF products in here as well so that means I'm going to put the dear Claire's cream back in here I have uh, I've got most of my face SPFs inside I've got the uh clean screen from ultraviolet here love it this one is the uh queen screen also love that i have a moisturizer here from milk makeup it is the vegan milk moisturizer that can stay oh it's got a hair on it no no i will not have that this is the ah uh, god what is this brand called freck freck um it's a Rich Bitch Cactus Vitamin C Moisturizer. I have tried it. I, I don't mind it. It's like, I'll use it. Um, this is the Dr. Jart Goodnight Firming Sleeping Mask. This is one of those ones that you wash off the next day. So, <sighs> aka just a moisturizer. That one can stay there as well. Good, good, good. And then I have some SPFs. Okay, I've got a little Sunsense mini here. I'm going to get rid of that. Fuck off. And I've got uh, the Labiot UV Veil Moisture Sun Essence. Um, I picked these up. I was searching for SPFs that don't contain alcohol um, in their ingredients, which look... Most do, which is so fucked, but okay. Um, and I think these did, but also I think I was sucked in by the uh, the way they look, basically. And also, I believe this had quite good reviews. So if you can confirm that, please do. Um, and I, well, reviews and alcohol content. Let me know. Is it in there? I've gotten rid of the box. And um, there's no ingredients, which, you know, it is what it is. I'm getting rid of eight products out of this drawer. Okay, we're coming back to the extra mask drawer, which needs to be, like, this is going to be a goal for 2021 to make sure that all of my mask items can fit in one of my small drawers. Um... But I do have these, which I need to deal with. So let's go through them. Um, these are like, oh, there's another one of these raspberry age defying yogurt mask, ma bleh, yogurt massage masks. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, yeah, these are like cream type masks. So clay masks, I think I just need to get rid of because like, I just don't, don't really like them to be honest. Um, so they can go. I have the glycolic uh, mask from Andalou Naturals. I would definitely use that. Um, this is a multivitamin power recovery mask from Dermalogica. It's sealed. You know what? I might see if mum would like to try that. I think she would love it. Mm, I have some Glam Glow masks here. These will be interesting. I'm sure they are dry. Whoa! No, it's not. Okay, that one's still good, but I don't really like those, like, glitter peel-off masks, so I'm going to get rid of that. And it's on me. That's gross. Get off me. Look, we'll just do one of these until it balls up. And then dust it away. Very good. Um, this is the Glam Glow Power Mud Jewel Cleanse Treatment. Oh, this is a mud to oil. I should have had this in my cleansing drawer. And it's sealed. I'm putting that in my cleansing drawer. I will use it. And if I like it, I will keep it. And if not, then I'll fuck it off. This is a Shantakai uh, Bio Lifting 
mask. This is so expensive. However, it's quite good. You can use it as a moisturizer if you want to. I personally don't do that uh, because it's a bit rich. However, I really like to put a generous amount of this on areas where I have lines and it really helps to like plump them up. So you put it on, you use it as like a spot treatment mask, 15, 20 minutes, wipe it off and then there you go. That one 100% stays. Uh, Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I'm going to get rid of that. I have a box of sheet masks. Fuck me dead. This is from Lulu Lun. I hold on to them for now. These are from Neogen. There is a sticker on it and there is a hair stuck to the sticker. Go away. Uh, these are from Neogen. They are the Gentle Gauze Peeling. These would... I would consider these actually an acid item. So I'm going to put them in my like chemical exfoliator drawer. And this is the um, Canacel Glow Mask from Andalou Naturals. I've got that fucking Glam Glow Mask everywhere. Um, it's a hemp mask. I vaguely remember trying this. Did I try it? No, it's still sealed. Okay, I didn't try it then. Well, you know, I'll... No, maybe I did. Yeah, I did. I did. What did I think? Oh, shit. She smells good. Mm, I don't know. Look, let's put that back and we'll see if I ever get around to using it. Lol. Also, hi legs. Um, I realized the reason why I had this random bioderma in uh, this drawer is because it is my only unopened bottle of liquid makeup remover. Um, I've got one in my bedroom that I'm working on. I've got one on my desk over here where I film and apply makeup and that's it. That's my only sealed bottle. So well done me. Well done. That's cool. That can just go back in there because it's just a, a random, it's a random bottle and it doesn't have a home and that's probably the best spot for it. Oh my God. So rude of me. I forgot to tell you how many items I was getting rid of. Six. I have two more drawers to go. This is a body drawer and underneath I have a hair drawer. So in this drawer I have uh, like body oils, I've got body moisturizers, SPF products and tanning products. Um, I don't really know where to even start. I'm going to start with what's in my hand. These are, <laughs> these are the Soul Shimmering Dry Oils. So these are the ones with shimmer in them um, but the oil and the shimmer will separate so what I usually do is I like stand them up on a bench and when they separate I've got one here that you might be able to see where it sort of started to separate um, I'll use a pipette to get the dry oil out and I put it in an empty bottle and I use that I've actually got one here that I've done it to and why did I just throw this back in? I don't know. It's going in the empties. So that's what it, whoa, that's what it looks like. It's like um, shimmer sediment and I just suck out the oil without the shimmer in it. Um, and I really like the dry oil. Like they need to just sell the dry oil without shit in it because it's nice. So I'm going to hold on to them because I use it and I like it. Um, I have another one here. Any more? Hello? Any more? No. Okay, good. Some others that I have from Soul Body are the glow oils. These are a lot nicer than the shimmer oils with the pigment in them. So again, it's that oil formula, um, but the pigment is a lot, it's not as sparkly. There's a tiny bit of sparkle, like they still have a tiny bit of the like mini like glitter flex in it but it's not as offensive you don't look like fucking edward cullen um these ones i might just hold on to them i've used them all so I'm, i'll just hold on I'll hold on to them stop falling over body spf okay the keratin aqua velvet that's got to go it's getting too old the ultraviolet that's still quite new that can stay um the sun bum this one I got last year. Okay, it's good until November 21. I wonder if the other one has a... 
expiration. Oh, this is good until September 2021. Oh, fuck it. Um, I mean, we're coming into summer. If they're still good, I'm going to use them. So there we go. All right, you can both stay. Okay, this is from a Tude house. This is the iShot Cool Band. It's a freeze foam. So this is like silly string. <laughs> it's so weird. So you spray it out and oh, it's best to do it while it's standing up. Um, and it's sort of this like moldable foam and it's cold as shit. Really good. Again, if I have a migraine, I can like, you know, you just turn it into like a long band, just stick it over my forehead or temples, sometimes back of the neck. Um, and it's actually, it's, it's pretty good. To be honest, I prefer to just buy like the sticky strips that are cold. Where did the lid go there? Um, rather than fluff around with this, because when you got a migraine, like you don't want to be fluffing around with anything. Um, but there's not too much left in there. I think I might just stick it in my room for when I have a migraine next because I get them a lot in summer. Okay, fake tan. I don't use fake tan. I don't even know why I have these. Um, they are from Saint Tropez. They are the Purity Clear Self Tanners. I'm going to get rid of both of them. Do I have any more self tanners? I've got a watermelon one from Saint Tropez. I won't use that. Um, let's pull this shit out. I think everything else is good. I've got gradual tanners from Soul Body. Um, I might just hang on to them for now. They're fine. They're fine. Uh, this is another gradual tan from Saint Tropez watermelon scented. I will hold on to that one as well. Laura Mercier body butter that can absolutely stay. It's amazing. Um, I have the face and body recovery cream from Ultraceuticals. That's really nice. Good for after sun. I have the sun bum cool down soothing cooling aloe dry touch body oil look this is really really strong like the scent of it but i'm gonna hold on to it just in case i want to use it oh i've got more of those cooling patches i'm going to take them inside as well uh, what have i got what have i got more after sun it's cooling cream gel from sunsense that can stay um but what do I, I feel like, mm, let's continue. Uh, Walida White Mallow Body Lotion. This is really good when I'm having like a sensitive skin day. I have the Aloe Vera Gel from Thursday Plantation. That can stay as well. Dermalogica Body Hydrating Cream. That one can stay. I have the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream Miracle Oil. That one can stay. I think, um, yeah, all of these will stay. Thursday Plantation Macadamia Ultra Hydrating Body Oil. I've got the Pure Moisturizer, sorry, Pure Moisture Coconut Body Cream. They are so fucking nice. The scent is insane. And I just have a little one of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. They can all stay. Body moisturizers can go there. Um, oils can go here. Let's put SPFs here. Okay, guys, we have success. I've only gotten rid of three products. They're all tanning products. Got a few things to take inside, but that is at least looking neater, not as hectic as it did before. So I call that a success. This is the last draw. It is hair care products. Um, I do have more inside, but it's kind of stuff that I'm currently using. Um, okay, I can see I've got a lot of dry shampoo. I don't know why I have so many. I've got like Batiste dry shampoo coming out of my asshole, clearly. Uh, there's five there. I've got two here. These are the XL volume sprays. They're both almost empty. I use these for when I want to like buff up my hair, which is occasionally something that I want to do. This is a definition mist from Davinez. So this gives you that sort of like, um, sort of like helps to make your hair look a bit um, chunky and separated and shiny. Uh, I'm going to hold on to that for sure. There's more Batiste dry shampoo. I'm just going to put them aside. I'd like to keep maybe a couple, but not 
all of them. Um, this is dry shampoo from Davines as well. I'm going to put that in the dry shampoo pile and I'll I'll work them out in a minute. There's fucking more. My God. Um, oh, God. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck is happening right now. Um, <laughs> okay. This is the matte dry... Oh, my God. Dry shampoo. Fuck. I don't even like dry shampoo that much. I prefer to just wash my hair. <laughs> But I do use it occasionally. Uh, this is a Miss and Scene Perfect Repair Oil. I like this. I've actually finished two of these in previous years. This one's unopened. Um, I don't know how many hair oils I have. I know I've got a couple inside. I might like to hold on to that. This is the Oil All-in-One Milk. That is so, so nice. I love that. I'm just going to... Get some stuff out because I need to see what's going to stand and what's not. Okay, we've got some standing things. Bumble and Bumble BB Shine on and on. Uh, it's just like a shine finishing spray. I think I will hold on to that one. Well, that, yeah, good. Um, let's go over here. Oh, look at this. Fucking dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. No, that's a texturizing spray and this is dry shampoo. Okay. Texturizing spray, you can go there for now. Um, these are Davines hair oils. I always forget that I fucking have these. Madeline gave them to me, and I, every time I see them, I'm like, oh my god, I should play with them. They're like treatment oils, basically. Um, I'm taking them inside. I'm taking them inside because my hair drawer inside is quite small. I've got things in there that I currently use. It might remind me to actually fucking use them. Um, and I also have somewhere, oh, it might be inside. There was like a little thing to help snap the lid off them because these are, they're, all glass. Oh no, there it is. There it is. See, I was so smart. I was so organized. I sorted my shit out. I put them together. Good. All right. You can go. You can go inside. Maybe I will use them before I die. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. The minis are good for travel, but fuck man. Fuck. Uh, this is the R & Co Blowout Balm. I don't... I have tried this, but what did I think about it? Or have I tried it? Looks pretty fucking clean. Okay, that can stay for now. Uh, Oi Oil. Holy Grail. Such a good hair oil. Love that. It stays. Will it close? No. What? Why are you going to do this to me? Um, I have the end sealer treatment from Daily Naturals. I can't remember if I've tried. I have tried it, but I can't remember what I think about it. That can stay. Uh, hair pack. It's a repair sleeping hair pack. Um, it is from Tusawong. And basically you sleep in it. And it is a very interesting product. And I remember when I used it, I was like, oh, okay. This is pretty good. So I'm going to hold on to that. What else have I got? Damage Remedy hair, daily hair repair from Aveda. I haven't tried that yet. Smooth Infusion Naturally Straight Progressively Loosens Curls. Ah, oh, it's by, I haven't used this either. I'm wondering, okay, Madeline, I know you're going to watch this eventually. Would I be able to pair this with the, um, the straightening thing that we do? Sorry, I'm just having a conversation with a friend via video. Um, it doesn't look like it contains any SLS. I'll hold on to it for now. Um, husk. This is a nourishing shine oil. I'm going to hold on to that. And then I have the silkening oil mist from Davines as well. That can also stay. That's not going to close. Uh, Kirsten S. Leave-In Conditioner. This is a good detangling conditioner. It's like kind of next on my li list to use up. That one can stay. This is the uh, Tiggy Bedhead Smoothing Cream for Silky Shiny Healthy Looking Hair. That one can stay as well, I think. That's fine. Uh, Kerastase Nectar Thermique. Oh, God. I, I fucking... 
I loved this stuff. This My hair responded to this so well. Fuck it, I'm keeping it. Uh, and I've got the Grow Gorgeous Scalp Detox Exfoliating Pre-Wash Treatment. That's coming inside with me because it will never be seen in this drawer. Okay. Oh, and, and, and... I have the mint bombs from Flabois. These are fantastic. They also do a milk bomb and they are just, they're so like hydrating. They make my skin, my skin, my hair feels so soft. Detangles, they're lovely. They're coming inside as well because it's something I use in the shower. Um, okay, so these guys can all be organized. How many dry shampoos do I have? Um, let me, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three minis. Twelve. Good. That's great. I'm going to hold on to the minis because they are good for chucking in my bag if I'm going away for a weekend and oh God, especially camping. I don't know what it is, but when I go and camp up with my friends, my hair, I just, I'm like, oh, good Lord, help me. Um, okay. What am I going to keep? I'm going to keep the, uh, Tiggy bedhead because I really like that. And I'm going to keep the Davines because Davines, but I think I'm going to get rid of the chlorine because I know it leaves a dry cast and, um, I might, I might keep, I don't know. What do these smell like? No idea. I haven't used that. That's new. I know I've used these before. I'm going to get rid of the uh, Batiste original. Um, I don't know. Do I even want to keep another one? How many have I got? Two and three minis. Look. I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to chuck them in here. I remember not being overly offended by these guys and actually kind of liking them, which is unusual for me, um, but I don't know. If my hair get, starts getting oily again, then I'm probably going to want dry shampoo um, and I'll be annoyed with myself if I've just gone ahead and decluttered all of them, but I definitely don't need to keep them all, so I'll get rid of the the three here that I know I do not enjoy or well I don't know about this one but you know whatevs whatevs it's not it's not that deep is it this is going to really annoy me because it's like things are gonna move don't move in the drawer okay so that's it guys for my like skin body hair care drawers i'm getting rid of 48 products it's really like not a lot um but it's better than nothing and to be fair these are areas of my collection that are decluttered year round. If I use something and I decide I don't like it, it goes in the declutter drawer. Um, or I will ask mum, hey mum, do you want to try this? It doesn't work for me. And then if she doesn't like it, we just throw it in the bin. Like it's not that deep. So I didn't actually expect there to be a whole lot going on in terms of decluttering these uh, this part of my stash but I get this is like an area of my collection that people ask to see the most and usually I'm just like no I can't be bothered because it's you know there's a lot there's a lot of stuff um so there we go you guys have seen it you've seen how I sort of store my skincare hair care body care how it's organized um, and a little bit of the method to my madness, I suppose, about keeping stuff like this. Um, whenever I use up a product, I tend to come to these drawers. I'll look for something and um, I'll either pick out something that I have previously used so that I can finish it up or I will pick out something new to try out. Feel free to leave a comment uh, letting people know what 
your skin, hair and body collections are like? Um, do you just buy things as you need them or, you know, were you also a skincare, hair care or body junkie? Uh, maybe you get a lot of stuff in PR as well. Uh, let us know. Let us know down in the comments and I will be back tomorrow with the last video in this series where I'm going to sit down and uh, talk to you guys about how my inventory changed from the end of 2019 to the end of 2020 because uh, that that's something that I, I I've been working on all year. Basically, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at what grew and what shrunk. My goal is everything should have shrunk, but we will see uh, in the next video tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.